By the way, there is a firmware update that just came out uh, for the X-H1. I have it posted in the link below. Oddly enough, this is the X-G2 that I took apart. Isn't that cute? Had a lot of people uh, ask me, strangely, and I never mentioned in the video, how tough are the uh, mounts for the uh, neck strap on uh, the X-T2? And I can actually tell you that they're uh, tough, thick, uh, stainless steel, and they actually have uh, gaskets around them. Uh, Nikon uh, strap lugs, which is what these are called, do not have gaskets around them. Neither does the last Canon that I took apart, which was like six months ago, have those. So yeah, extra beefy. Two screw holes on both to hold them in place, and also they're locked in place by the magnesium chassis. Right there. Okay. So I don't know why so many people ask me about this, but uh, pretty heavy too. Tough, tough stuff. There you go. And I said firmware update for the X-H1 in the link below. Update your firmware on your X-H1. And... Fuji! <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, yeah. here's a, here's some X-T2 parts. Remember this, this camera took a dive in the ocean, so it's not like it failed or something. It's called user error. Yeah, Fujis don't swim very well, especially not in salt water. The worst stuff electronics can ever go to. Salt water! Yeah, there's the sensor. There's a few knobs and dials. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, it's the post-autopsy. There we go. Fuji!